here in Texas and it's really hot right now but we have a beautiful lake which you'll probably see up here um, as we're talking and uh, we were in Colorado but we we were actually in Wyoming last time we yeah that's checked. right we were up in um, Laramie mm -hmm. and the allergies and the smoke and everything got so bad that we decided well heck we'll just go down by the kids and we went down there and that camp that we usually stay at in Kiowa. Um, Kiowa, Colorado? Yeah, the... Um, it's fairgrounds. The fairgrounds. They up their price and everything. And it's about 50, 60 miles from Denver. So I guess, you know, if you've ever been in the Den Denver area and tried to camp, it's expensive. What the Germans call Saratoya, it's expensive. And they up the price. Well, it's like $25 for us to just to dump. And so we just... I don't know, rebelled or whatever, decided, you know what, we can just go down to uh, Monte Vista in southern Colorado on the uh, west side and I'm parked for free. But it seems like the smoke and the uh, my allergies uh, just followed me and it got really bad. So now we're in Texas. And that's where you go whenever you have an allergy problem. You just go to Texas, right, baby? I guess so. We um, ended up here because we looked at the uh, weather map and uh, looked at the allergens and all the way through Colorado and Wyoming. Well, Wyoming was up in the 150 on the allergen count and uh, Colorado was 70, 80. And here in, uh, we're in Bridge, just outside Bridgeport, Texas, it's like 38. So it's pretty nice, it's pretty nice for just the allergies. Hot. Yeah, it's hot, but we have full hookups, so we're happy, and we're right beside a beautiful lake, and um, it's like we're parked in our own park. Uh, we have, as we pan around, you'll see here in a bit that there's nobody on one side of us at all, and nothing but the lake. Yeah, so I'm going to show you. See? The lake. And then tell them, Patty, we went to breakfast. Uh, we went to a breakfast place. It was okay. Nothing to, you know, really write home about. It was... Um, it wasn't as good as the tower in... Um, Laramie. I got a bug climbing on my leg. Welcome to Texas. Welcome to Texas. Uh, yeah, it wasn't as good as Laramie. Uh, the tower that we had at that restaurant on the 17th uh, Street. 17th Street Cafe yeah. was really good. But in this one... It was, uh, it was called uh, Five Boys Ranch or yep, something in restaurant. Bridgepoint. And it was okay, it was good, um, but it was not as good as the tower in Laramie. Yeah, so uh, hopefully over the next couple of weeks we'll go to a barbecue place because Texas is kind of known for its barbecue. And of course, we'll always do our Mexican restaurant. So that'll all be coming up. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna talk about the storyboard? Yeah, we're gonna, we got two more storyboards coming up, but I'm going to save that for later. Uh, we'll probably do something inside where it's a little bit cooler and show you the storyboards of The Promise. And, uh, yeah, we're getting close to what they call the apex, the uh, arc of the story, where everybody starts to uh, fight within the hospital because they're letting a couple of patients in for free. And... Um, a little bit more of that on some kind of a uh, little bit of a faith-based uh, situation with PJ where um, uh, you know he lost his mother and his uh, father is a very religious person and so it was a combination of medicine versus faith and uh, they're gonna get into that in the story a little bit because uh, of the, the, the promise which kind of pulls PJ in it when he's touched by um, Jessica just meeting her because She's really a very special little girl that's kind of hanging into this world, keeping God to his promise until she can have that bond with her mother before they both leave this world. More about that later. So, mud, 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 mud. So you're saying this is what happens when you drive all the way from Wyoming, Wyoming to Colorado? Through Colorado into Texas. So if it's that bad, what's it like up on the rig? Yeah, it's pretty nasty looking. So what are we going to do to get this clean? Hire Steve. Yeah, it's pretty I'm hoping nice for a good rainstorm that will come through and soften it up and then we can wash it down. But yeah, well, it's dripping a little bit. But yeah, we have a little work. bit of rain, but yep. not 
that's from the air conditioning. Yeah. This is a nice RV park. It's one of our favorite Texas ones. It's up uh, about seven, eight miles, I think, out of Bridgeport. Mm -hmm. West of Bridgeport. Called, it's what's called it called? Bay Landing. Yeah, this is Bay Landing. I'm gonna... And it's probably a little bit to the north west of Fort Worth. Oh. Right on Bridgeport Lake. Kind of went over a little bit before. I wanted to, Patty's promised me a breeze if we walk down on this dock. So we're gonna go down there. It's a fish cleaning station. Yeah, we don't do much of that. And they have some canoes you can rent. Yeah, we got some canoes. Was it five bucks an hour or something? It was ten dollars for an hour, ten or fifteen for an hour. Careful coming down through here. Yeah. She's telling me to be careful because I messed up my leg, my knee. I was running up the side through sand and I placed my leg funky. And it's been a couple of weeks and it still hurts. It's just crazy because I've tried to walk and be athletic my whole life. But. Even those guys get messed up sometimes. Okay. Please, do one. What's that? There's a breeze. I promised you a breeze. There's definitely a breeze out here. It's very comfortable. Okay, we're out on the dock. The baby's out on the dock. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Okay, I guess the water's okay. Anyway, this is the little lake around Bay Landing. It's a thousand trails. We like thousand trails, but not all thousand trails. Some thousand trails are really nice. Some, not so much. This is uh, the clubhouse inside. And uh, they got two pool tables here and a foosball machine. And then back over here, they have Miss Pac-Man and cruising, which doesn't look like it's working, but the Pac-Man does. But it's 25 cents. Patty's looking for new books to read. But the pool tables, they suck because we've been to other Thousand Trails camps and play pool. And these guys have pool tables too, but they want to charge a buck for you to play. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, I'm going to take you outside this room. And they got a great big. room they can have all kinds of I don't know breakfast I think they had uh, a um, root beer float thing the other day what I would do is because this is cowboy country Dallas Cowboys and Rangers uh, baseball in Houston uh, Astros has arranged a chair there and have one of those big old TVs playing the uh, games I haven't seen anything on the activities talking about it. They actually have bike rentals. You can see some kids going by on some bikes. They have bike rentals here too. And right now it's uh, August like 16th and the uh, air conditioning's on in here because it's a little warm outside. Volleyball net and they got a pool way over there. There was actually some people swimming in it. 
a lot of property and a lot of uh, grassy area. Basketball court over there. This is what's called Hollywood Avenue. You can see it over there. Horseshoe pits. They're okay. Look pretty good shape. And uh, volleyball net. It looks pretty nice. I haven't seen anybody out playing, but it's really warm. Hollywood Boulevard, Patty corrects me. And this is the best place to park because they have full hookups. And we're way down there. Bay Landing, guys. Huge um, playground for kids. Spread out all over the place, swings. It's like a little stagecoach. Merry-go-round, a couple of different kinds. Way over there in the background, there's some guy. It's like eight or nine o'clock at night. No, seven, maybe seven o'clock. And he looks like he's redoing the roof. I don't know what's in there. It's probably the power station for everything in the camp. Okay, now we're on the uh, basketball slash shuffleboard. Pickleball. Pickleball, I guess, because this is small. And there's basketball down there. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. It looks like, again, they could turn on some lights at night. Haven't seen it either time we've been here. Uh, maybe because it's a little warm. But they actually have some nets in the basketball hoops, so that looks like they're trying. And then you can see in the background, the guy's playing in water. Or football with his son, sorry. Nerf ball, yeah, and then you can see this is called what Boulevard again? Hollywood Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard. A very well spaced out site. Yep, very spaced out, very nice. Um, all full hookups, 50 amp sewer water. Okay, but if you park here and use this, you got to pay an extra three bucks a night for what they call it upgrade. But I've heard it's mostly for the power. No, it's mostly for the sewer. Mm -hmm. These are the only ones with sewer. Yeah, sewer, 50 amp, and water. Full hookups. So that's pretty nice. We're down there Fine. in the far end in the Montana. Bay Landing. Got the miniature golf here at Bay Landing. Looks like it's in pretty good shape compared to a lot of places we've been. Like I said, Patty and I, this is our favorite uh, Texas park. Some of the uh, thousand trails up in uh, Washington and uh, Oregon, I like a lot more. And they actually look like they could, you can see on this pole, turn the lights on and have lights where you could play uh, miniature golf at night, which makes sense because it's a lot cooler. But it's got a whole bunch of them all the way around. Patty's playing electrician to see if she can get it working. She ought to leave it alone. It's like it's on a timer, baby. Just leave it, you're gonna get chalked. Pretty good. Patty tried to say hi to that guy with his puppy over there, but he would, wouldn't have anything to do with it. I guess he's headed somewhere important. Okay, we're just walking up on our camp. Pretty nice. Action. Hi, y'all. Hi, everybody. Can I get something on my feet again? Doggone it. Every time I the state down here in Texas, I feel like something's biting me on my feet. Chiggers. Isn't that what they call them here in Texas? Chiggers? Do you know? Do you know? Huh. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay. Again, this is the lake. I like the view. I turn this way, and you can see where we just walked down. That's pretty cool. The rocks formation all the way up. I like that. So, come back over here, baby. This is Bay Landing. Mm -hmm. And what do we like about it and what we don't like about it? Um, the part that we were in, we pay a little extra for the full hookups. Um, it's worth it. Um, the, the spaces are spread out. 
Uh, we have a beautiful park-like environment around us. Beautiful you lake. You heard a fish jump, huh? That was a fish jumping. That's fishy. Yeah. And um, it's probably only like seven or eight miles into town. Uh, about 16 to a Walmart, but to a regular like Berkshire Brothers grocery store is only seven or eight miles, which isn't bad. Yeah, but tell them why you really wanted to go into town because you're going to cook me dinner and then I said we should go into town and where did you want to go? What a burger. Why? I really like their mushroom Swiss burgers. Do they have water burgers up in Utah? No. Do they have water burgers up in Oregon? No. Do they have some in Arizona? Yes. But they don't have them anywhere else. Just mostly know. down here in Texas. Mostly Texas, a few in Arizona. And w what did you see on the outside of the door when you were going into Whataburger? Oh, there, um, apparently there's a uh, the Texas House and Texas Senate. Um, a dozen, two dozen years ago, I don't know when, basically voted uh, Whataburger as a Texas landmark or a Texas gave it some sort of uh, Jewel recognition. Jewel or something yeah. like that? Treasure. Texas treasure. Texas treasure. So it was good. Yeah. I like I like Whataburgers. You get uh, for the same amount of money you go to uh, like an Arby's or any of those kind of places, Wendy's, you get much more food at a Whataburger. Yep. Their, their burgers are good sized. They're tasty. Yeah, what I liked about them is they, they give you an old wrap, like old wrapping paper, you know, like they used to put hamburgers in. And um, the hamburger looks, you know, like, like they show you the ones on TV, they're so big with all the stuffing in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. But this one was like really good mushrooms, like they put a really good quality mushroom flavor in like a, almost like a soup. Mm -hmm. And then they put, uh, but it's not like soup, it's thicker. But it's like you really can taste the mushrooms and you're like going, wow. I mean, actually, it tastes like a, a Swiss and a beef burger and yeah. Swiss cheese. It really tastes like it should. And we're obviously not affiliated with Whataburger. We're just saying, if you're ever down in Texas and you drive by the uh, like Orange W, their buildings are orange and white, and it says Whataburger, trust us. Stop in there and at least get yourself a mushroom Swiss burger, double cheeseburger. I got to give it a thumbs up because it was really pretty good. Okay, well, we can go on talking about jibber-jabbering about all kinds of stuff. We're probably gonna stay here for three weeks. Like I said earlier, I don't know if I'll blend it in with this part of the vlog or not, but we'll try to go to a Mexican restaurant around here, and we're also gonna go to a barbecue place around here, and maybe another breakfast place because the uh, Five Kids Ranch. Five Boys Ranch. Five Boys Ranch. It was okay. It was okay, nothing to get super excited about. Okay, what else, Betty? That's it. Talk to you soon. Not you, but you. Bye, all. Bye. Okay, let's talk storyboards just for a moment. Um, this is uh, Dr. Perry Lewis Jones, who we also refer to in the script as PJ. He meets uh, Jessica for the first time, and like Nurse Betty and everybody else, gets around her and not realizes she's something special. However, he looks at it from a doctor's perspective, meaning that he's looking for a cure. He knows that he, she has uh, some kind of heart condition. This eventually leads into him discovering that Sherry Melbourne, the mother of this daughter, same blood type, same kind of heart condition, and he starts to put it together, but that's uh, moving forward in the story a little bit. But the thing we like about PJ as he basically pulls his hair out, goes back into research, is involved with this guy who's uh, the anta antagonist in the story, who's uh, a, a reverend, a, a preacher. Uh, we saw him as a priest in the beginning of the story. Um, the story starts out with Sherry actually coming into the hospital via ambulance and uh, this guy's sitting there with uh, Sherry. Sherry's trying to pass on to the next life, die, essentially. But she believes that he has some kind of ability of power uh, through his uh, ordained office or whatever, speaking to her in Latin that she believes she can't pass on to the next life. He's holding her there. He needs her. 
Um, he's desperate for her to stay with him. He's um, obviously she is uh, a parishioner of his that he has manipulated and abused, has had a child with, and um, now she's um, back in the hospital. He has no idea about the promise. PJ doesn't know anything about the promise. Nobody does yet. Uh, God's promise uh, for this little girl to be held in her arms and for them to have a bond. Uh, so they don't realize what they're doing, what they're really playing into, so to speak. He's just there trying to hold, get her to hold on to life like he's done for many years. She wants to, because she's very sick, move on. And this is where the story hits uh, um, an apex or an arc because the, the, the staff in the hospital, they don't want um, Sherry there or, or Jessica, but um, they haven't been uh, touched by them, so to speak, so they're not aware of the promise. More come, more storyboards to come. Please like and share, share it with your friends. We really need uh, the channel to grow so these stories to, uh, to come out. Uh, there's many more stories to tell. But this is kind of a special one and we hope that you enjoy it. We'll see you in the next vlog. <music>